。到第三十五、三十六条咧，都系有关于生长素嘅实验嘅。咁我哋咧成个实验咧，就系想喺一啲杯啊、尖啄嗰处咧，就去获得呢个生长素。咁当然啦，喺获得嘅过程当中咧，其实我哋就摆佢喺唔同嘅情况底下嘅，有光啊、冇光啊，然后啦。當呢個鯨脂咧接收咗呢個生長素之後咧，我哋就將佢擺咗一啲同樣高度嘅斬咗頭嘅杯牙嗰樹，再去觀察下咧佢哋嘅成長嘅。咁所以第三十五條咧就係、是、問翻每一個斬咗頭嘅杯牙，當我哋接收咗唔同嘅 A 價之後啦，究竟佢哋嘅成長會如何咧？咁所以成條題目咧其實就考我哋三樣嘢嘅。第一樣咧就係、是、光對於生長素嘅分布嘅影響，咁原來光咧係會令到生長素咧就係、是、由一個光面去到暗面，呢、这個我哋書本學翻嚟噶。第二啦就係、是、plastic plate 咧，其實佢有咩嘅性質？佢嘅性質咧就係、是、impermeable to the oxygen， 咁即係生長素咧係不能夠穿過到呢個膠片嘅。而第三咧就係、是、一個唔平均嘅生長素嘅分布，對於嗰個徑咧嘅成長。而個概念咧就係高一啲嘅生長素濃度咧，係會令到個徑嘅成長咧係會快咗嘅，促進咗嘅。咁而家啦，我咧就睇翻一二三四五六呢六嚿嘅鯨脂，究竟佢哋有啲咩嘅巧妙啦？我哋先睇第一組先，就係、是、Agar Block One and Two。咁實在咧，佢哋咧就擺咗喺一個黑暗嘅環境。咁有咩咁特別呢？當黑暗環境係冇一個單質光嘅刺激底下呢，實在呢啲生長素係唔會左右喐動嘅。咁即係話啦，佢哋應該淨係向下走啦。而同一時間啦，由於呢中間又真係擺咗一個膠片，咁就更加肯定咗佢哋唔能夠左右喐。所以啦，個生長素呢就只會向下呢去擴散，就令到阿一同阿二呢，佢哋所含有嘅。生長素嘅濃度咧，應該係一樣嘅。跟住啦，去到第二組啦，就係、是、A 嘅 block 三同四啦。咁今次咧，佢哋係有一個單側光照住咯。咁即係話啦，啲 o x y 咧應該係想橫向移動，由光面去暗面嘅。但係得唔得咧？答案係唔得嘅。咁咪因為呢中間就真係擺咗一個膠片，而呢個膠片頭先我哋都有講過啦。而個膠片呢，係唔容許嗰個生長素呢移動過去嘅。咁所以啦，當中呢都係冇一個橫向移動，所以啦啲生長素仍然都係向下去 diffuse 呢就去到呢個 A 嘅 block three and four。所以阿三同阿四呢，佢哋都應該接收同樣濃度嘅生長素嘅。而去到最後一組啦，就係、是、第五同第六啦，一組呢都有接收到單質光，即係話啦啲生長素係想橫向移動嘅。咁都係嗰個問題啦，得唔得先？答案係得嘅。咁啊，因為今次呢塊膠片呢，雖然有攝落去啊，但係又唔係攝晒啊嘛，佢攝一半唔攝一半，就即係話啲生長素呢，仍然係有機會由光面呢，就去咗暗面呢個位。咁即係話啦，暗面嘅位置呢，應該係會有一個高啲嘅濃度嘅生長素啦，所以呢，就會有下面呢一個嘅邏輯出現呢，就係、是、橫向移動嘅生長素由光面去暗面，就令到六號嘅 A 嘅 block 咧就能夠接收到多一啲嘅生長素。咁引申出嚟啦，會係啲咩嘅意義呢？咁我哋呢就睇返嗰個 growth situation 咯喎。咁其實啦，我哋發現個杯啊，一二三四四個呢，其實都係會接收到一個同等分量嘅生長素，就係、是、由一二三四呢嗰度傳過嚟嘅。咁所以啦，頭四條嘅杯啊呢，佢哋應該都有同等程度嘅成長嘅。咁我哋睇下啦 ，A、B、C、D 呢。邊一個情況底下呢？一二三四係 show 到一個同樣程度嘅成長，咁答案呢，其實已經出現咗啦，就係、是、A 嚟嘅，因為啦 B、C、D 呢，你都零零舍舍見到有一條或者兩條呢，係生得零舍高或者矮嘅，跟住啦就去到阿五同阿六咯，啊呢一對又啱唔啱呢？咁頭先我哋都啱啱講過啦，由於呢。越係高濃度嘅生長素呢，其實就會促進咗呢嗰個勁嘅成長嘅。咁由於呢六號嘅杯牙呢，佢嗰個 A 嘅 block 呢係有多一啲嘅生長素，所以呢，佢的確係會生得快一啲嘅。同一時間啦，因為五號仔呢，佢係接收到少一啲嘅生長素嘛，咁所以呢，五號嘅杯牙呢，佢個成長呢就會相比起其他嗰五支呢，就會弱一啲啦。所以答案就係 A 啦。Question 3 5 i v e and six refer to the experiment that collect the oxygen from the tip of the coleoptera under different conditions in darkness or with the unilateral light. After that, the agar block was placed on the decapitated coleoptera of the same height. 
So you can see that in the experiment, we still have the CV control variable, which is the height of the decapitated coleoptile. So after putting the agar blocks on the decapitated coleoptile, we are going to observe their growth response. So in question 35, it's asking which uh, the diagram can show the correct growth response of the decapitated coleoptypes. So in this question, actually, it's checking for three concepts. The first concept is the effect of light on the distribution of oxygen. The light can cause oxygen to move away from the illuminated side to the shaded side of the coleoptype. And the plastic plate which is impermeable to the oxygen. So that means the oxygen cannot pass through the plastic plate. And for the third concept, it's about the uneven distribution of oxygens on the shoot growth. What we learn from the book is that higher oxygen concentration can promote the shoot growth. So let's take a look at the six agar blocks. So how much oxygen will they get? So for the first pair, agar blocks one and two, so we can see that we put them in darkness. So there is no unilateral light stimulates. So that's why there will be no lateral migration of the oxygen. Meanwhile, there is a plastic plate inserted in between the left hand side and the right hand side of the tip. So that's why it can ensure that no lateral migration of the oxygen. So that's why the agar block one and two, they will receive the same amount of oxygen. And for the group number two is the agar block three and four. We put them in the unilateral light condition. So that's why there will be lateral movement of the oxygen. But is it possible? It's not possible because we insert the plastic plate in between the left hand side and the right hand side of the tip or the illuminated side and the shaded side of the tip. So that's why the oxygen cannot pass through the plastic plate. So there is no lateral migration of the oxygen. Therefore, the agar block three and four, they will receive the same amount of the oxygen. And for the last group is the agar blocks five and six. We also put them under the unilateral light. So that's why there should be lateral migration of the oxygen. And is it possible? It is possible because we can see that for the plastic plate, we just partially insert in the tip. So that's why the oxygen can still move, migrate from the illuminated side to the shaded side. So we can see that lateral migration of oxygen from light side to the shaded side, and more oxygen can diffuse downwards to the agar block 6 than in the agar block 5. So after analyzing the three pairs of the setup, we can do the deduction for the growth of the coleoptile. So for the first four coleoptile, one, two, three, four, they will receive the same amount of oxygen from the agar blocks one, two, three, four respectively. So that's why they should have the same extent of the growth. So we can compare the growth of the first four coleoptile and see that which option can show you the same extent of the growth. And actually, the answer is A, because for B, C, D, there may be one or two coleoptile showing slower or faster growth. And what about the coleoptile 5 and 6? So we know that coleoptile 6 receive more oxygen than coleoptile 5 from the agar block. That's why the growth of the coleoptile 6 is promoted by the higher oxygen concentration. So you can see that the growth of the coleoptile 6 is higher, faster than the other 5 coleoptiles. And for the coleoptile number 5, because it received lower concentration of the oxygen. So that's why coleoptile 5, its growth will not be that fast than the, than the other 5 coleoptiles.